Going on the offensive, hunters trying to stop an invasive snake from ruining the Everglades ecosystem. Yeah, the population of the non-native Burmese pythons are literally devouring every single animal in sight there. But four in your corners, Adam Pinsker telling us a python hunting program may be turning the tide against these snakes. You know, some people like the city, they like to go to movies. I like the Everglades. And he likes every animal in the Everglades. But that's a nice sized corn snake. Beautiful native species. But on this night, Kyle Penniston is hunting the elusive, non-native Burmese python. Kyle estimates he's captured 100 of them since the state launched a python bounty program last year. How many times have you been bit? By pythons? Yeah. I don't even know. Um, I, I honestly couldn't even give you a count. Maybe in the last year, like 30 times. Though pythons aren't venomous, they have a voracious appetite and have been known to gobble up anything from deer to gators. When I was younger, maybe, you know, eight, nine years old, my dad started taking me out to the Everglades. I'd see so many foxes, rabbits. I'd see all kinds of wildlife. Nowadays, it's, you're, you're very, it's very rare to see a possum. Snakes will open up their mouth about three times larger than it is now. Kyle captured this eight-foot python in western Miami-Dade, but the python problem is affecting South Florida from coast to coast. Almost a year ago, an East Naples man caught one swallowing his pet goat. He shot it while it was in the middle of its meal. This map shows the location of almost every python sighting over the past decade or so, spanning from Lehigh Acres all the way to Greater Miami. It's not their fault. They didn't ask to come here. They didn't get a ticket. They didn't drive here. They are here because of people. Kyle says the pet trade is to blame for the population boom, but making matters worse, in 1992, Hurricane Andrew destroyed a python breeding facility, sending more snakes slithering into the wild. You're never going to eliminate every single python. It's just, it's not, it's not a possibility because you, there's so much, there's, it's a vast area. But Kyle says the South Florida Water Management District's Python Elimination Program is making a dent in the population. The program, which started in March of 2017, is closing in on 1,000 kills, and that number is low when you consider how many eggs were taken. Also around 2,500 um, eggs is, have been removed as well. Kyle says although there is a long way to go, he's seen some native wildlife come back in certain areas of the glades and he's happy to be part of the solution to the python problem. It's better to be out here trying to do something than sitting at home on your couch. In Collier County, Adam Pinsker, Fox 4, in your corner. Well, python hunting is forbidden within the boundaries of Everglades National Park. However, Congressman Francis Rooney is working with the Trump administration to make an exception.